Good morning. <laughs> oh, I'm a lizard, but I'm also a racist. Look at my dog. Looks well, there's something wrong with your dog. dog, isn't dog isn't it? Wrong with your dog. I went no, to the this dog is shop. A dog. That's not a dog. There's something oh. wrong with your dog. Can you walk that thing? You know, I have actually tried, but um, <laughs> <You> really? she hates <laughs> it. <Really? laughs> yeah. Chris Trot, that's me. Uh, Ross Hompy, that's me. And uh, I'm Alex Smith. Now, what's that scratching in the background there, Alex oh, Smith? Nice. Oh, that'll be my. You can just see it to the left of the frame. Ooh, how do I do this? So my bearded dragon. <laughs> what <a> point? Um, <laughs> just being really noisy. I thought I'd show you my lizards. So let's have a quick look at uh, the gang. This is Dorito. She's very hungry. She's been asleep all. I'm. I'm very sorry. She's been asleep all day. She did a really big poo two days ago, and has been recovering from it. Excuse me. Hey. This is the life of lizard ownership. Uh, no love, just food. Is that nice? Yeah? I bet you're not excited about the fact we're gonna be streaming every weekday, are you? One till four, or three till six, every weekday. That's exciting, isn't it? No? As they go back to uh, normality, if we go back. I will. Currently listening to the sound of Smith's lizard feeding eating a... some rocket or arugula <laughs> if you're from the US. What was the name of this this bearded dragon again? Dorito. This one's Dorito. Dorito, of course, Dorito. So he's got three different lizards, and that one was crunching down on um, these little mealworm things, and it was quite quite adorable, quite an adorable little creature. Uh, that's poor so little that, that'd be in the vlog. Crushed watch that. alive. That'll probably Think be about the tonight, insect. Insect lives matter. I'll think about the insect when the insect looks better to me. All right, Trot? <laughs> it's all about looks. It's so We're shallow. all thinking it. All right? <laughs> Weird little creepy things. Eat them all, Dorito. Eat them all. We have... Yeah, because I think that, well, normally they eat grass to throw up because they feel sick. Yeah. I'm guessing it was more curiosity yeah. than anything. It's In more a case of, situation. it's literally like tall blades of grass butting into her. Oh, She's just like instant reaction to like nibble on it. Oh, I think Smith's lizard is just shitting. Or just shouting his shoulder, potentially. Did he shit in his hand? He's, he's checking. His hand. He's, he's kind of checking. checking around the room. He's now closing the door of of, of the... God, is it a terrarium? Is there any disciplinary action being... You can tell he's guilty. I think he's now... You can tell that I think he's, he's, licking, he's licking his hands. A bit of shit. He's pointing at something. He's got a bit of turd on Oh, there it is, yeah. I saw it. Oh, he's got a bit of something. He's going to clean that up. Um, Gross. Jesus. Why haven't you eaten your salad? Hmm? Oh, hold on. Get out. Oh, that's a lot. It's right down here. Why? What? Why must you wait for me to give it to you for you to eat it, huh? Huh? Is it because you're a princess? Mmm. Nice kale. Want some more? Oh, that's a big bit. What? What have you seen? You look ridiculous. Oh, oh yeah. Um, no, no. So Smith just climbing into that thing, just never come out. 
He's going into his habitat now. Fucking jungle Narnia. It's enclosure. Going in. He's become a lizard. He's desperate to get his chameleon out to show everybody. Yeah. It's so Sick good at camouflage. He hasn't seen it for fucking weeks. Yeah. He's been hidden away. He's not even sure if he bought one. He just got a collection of leaves <laughs> and said, yeah, he's they probably said this, somewhere. yeah. We have Hubert. This is my baby panther chameleon. He's tiny. Very cute. Now, this one causes me the most stress because he is the most delicate. Yeah, he has this nice big enclosure to live in. You can change color. Their colors will be much brighter when they're older. Go for it, buddy. They are absolutely amazing climbers. They can pretty much pull themselves up by their tail as well, which is pretty mad. Is he gonna go for it? No, not sure. Oh, yes. Yes, he fancies that one. Yeah, he lives amongst all these vines and things. They like to crawl and hide a lot. I don't actually see him very often because obviously he's a chameleon, but he can do green at the moment. He can do black, he can do beige. He's a, an amber lobe morph, apparently, according to the place where I got him, which means he'll be very colorful eventually. That is little Huey. Yeah, so if you're- Cute little chameleon. It's just a lot of lag on it, okay. I'll try and apply a little filter and see. Joan Barros, 50 months. Don't know what to say, so yeah, Ooh, 50 months. Hey, okay, bye. Thank you very much. That's a long time. That's two times That's 25. One. It's, a, it's a beefy one. It's a beefcake. Hello, Randy. I've had Randy the longest. He is a leopard gecko. He's about four years old, four and a half. And he can live to up to 20. Uh, so, big commitment. They're very nice little lizards. Now, if you're wondering what this is, this is a, a Chinese takeaway tub um, that we put in there to help him shed a long time ago. It's a bit of a, you see there's a little bit of a sponge on the bottom there. That would, we'd moisten up and um, he'd go in there and uh, be able to shed his skin easier. However, he liked it so much that he just lives in there a lot of the time. Um, so we left it in there for him. It looks a bit janky, but uh, yeah, he loves it. How are you? Hmm? Leopard geckos store a lot of their food in their tail. So uh, they can actually drop it, so you gotta be a little bit careful. You don't want to spook them too much. Um, but it means they get these big chubby tails, which are quite funny. Going in this tub, loves it. But that is little old Randy. And that Randy. Oh, fucking shit. Yum yum. Whiskey boy. Oh, I got, oh. I think I hit him with my mic. Yeah, look at that. It just goes look through a swing. lizard. Look at that thing. Wow. Chunky boy. Is it a swastika? A raspberry. Oh. We've got a grape, which can be broken up a bit more. Yeah. Any interest in the grape? Put on these tongs. Does that make it more interesting to you? Oh, oh, thinking about it, thinking about it. You missed it. <laughs> Here. Let's try a bit more banana. Oh, it's on the carpet. Oh. Raspberry. Straight down. There you go. Now a great mix with raspberry, Dorito. I'd recommend pairing this piece of strawberry. Yes? Yes? No? No, don't like that. No, not a strawberry fan. <laughs> okay. Loud and clear. Are you a banana fan? Mm. Maybe a little bit lower? No. And then finally, Dorito. Are you a worm fan? Is that your worm fan? Hmm? Hmm? It's a worm. Oh, she's realised it's a worm. Boom. I've got to come up with an idea of how uh, Dorito, I'm choosing Dorito because she's awake at the moment and she's also the, um, 
The one with the widest palate, she eats lots of things. She's omnivorous, um, so she eats vegetables, fruits, uh, lots of insects and things like that as well. Anyway, I wanted to use her as sort of a taste guide for the things that I can put in a pancake. So this is basically like Doritos recipe. It's very rough. Obviously, um, at the moment we are having to do things at home, largely, uh, just to be safe and be uh, responsible, I guess. So I have used what was available around me. So I'm gonna put her on the ground uh, so she's nice and safe. I got some greaseproof paper and I've made Doritos recipe decider. So we've got some melon, some mango, some raspberry, and some blueberry. Unfortunately, uh, bearded dragons can't eat pancakes um, for multiple reasons, um, but I'm definitely gonna be enjoying it. Got the fruits laid out. Got some blueberries, some, a little bit of raspberry, some mango, and some different kinds of melon. Now obviously I'm thinking blueberry and raspberry is gonna work great in pancakes, but mango and melon, I'm not so sure. <laughs> she's sat on my lap and she's looking hungry. You ready to help me, Chef Dorit? We need a little chef hat for you, ideally. Let's have a look at which one she goes for. Okay, so initially she seems confused, concerned, but also inquisitive, you know? She, she's a clever little bean. She's like a seagull in terms of her appetites and her intelligence. Does the beard help? Hopefully Smith shows up. That'll be a real bonus, I think. Yeah. I lost my gecko. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I had a three Uber tour of Bristol. Had a hectic morning. It's very hectic. How did he escape? He got through a little crack in his window. And I looked this morning, I checked him in the morning, and I was just like, where is he? And then I was like, oh, he's probably hiding under something, so I'm taking this thing about him. Like, He's not here. So uh, I had to hunt my around my whole house. And then I uh, had two Ubers cancel on me, and then the last one took me like all the way around Bristol. It was a stressful morning, very. Uh, and Pickable. yeah, basically. Can request. Um, um, then I actually saw. Too. I saw one of. Oh yeah. Just I saw one of the, I could feel some rumblings in her stomach. I wonder if she's going to show me. <laughs> the safety of our balconies. Do you I, think I'd watch that. Aware of when you put Rocket on its head, do you think it just disappears to him? Uh, well, yeah, yeah no, she is I think so. She, 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 she will sorry. do stuff. So for right now, for example, she loves Rocket, but when she's had enough, she'll just close her eye on that side and be like, no, nah, I don't want any more. Can you not? Like she's, just like, <laughs> no, like she's no. doing it now. She's like, no, nah, I don't want nice. it. No, nah, I don't want any more. Thank you. That's sad. Uh, it's a useful belly. trait. What a belly. Look at her belly. Now show, nice belly. showing the belly for anyone listening. This is all for, all for the visuals right now. Apologies. It's all audio based. See, Here's a modern this, day dinosaur. This is what she's trying to get off. Now. Oh, very, I see. You'll be very careful. You can't careful. pull it off yourself. You, you, sh you, sh you can only pull it off if it's literally falling off like this, I'd say. You don't want to pull yeah. it on, off otherwise because. There's resistance. It, yeah, it can be bad for the animal, but she. Do you ever, ever eat the skin? I you have think a about nibble? it daily. Um, I put it in tea. Cool dinosaur ideas? No Pinterest. No. I want just cool, actual dinosaurs. Oh, no I'm bit. sorry. She just doesn't like the fact that I'm doing it. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going to go from here? Let me do it. <laughs> Where are you going to go from here? I tried to doodle a little bit on, a, on paint and it's just a very tragic mess. Oh, have you tried a different brush though? Uh, not really. I just, I'm just on pen. You the changed pencil. the brush b directly below it. Okay. Awful. You burnt your ISO yet? Nice. Uh, the delightful me. 57 months. 57 months sub. That's such a long time. <laughs> oh my god. From isolation. Time has no meaning. Trousers are optional here. Indeed. You don't need to wear them, everybody. That's no true. one's watching. Yeah. I know. It's a I'm not wearing them. Believe it. <laughs> Nice hat. <laughs> oh my gosh, where did that come from? That's a big piece. Here we go, she's onto the pancake shoes up. 
Oh, first thing she's going for. She's going for the raspberry. Oh, no, that's, that's another raspberry. Can I see if you're interested in one of those? No, oh, it's, it's another raspberry. We are, she does love raspberries. They're probably one of her favorite treats. Yes. Things like blueberries, they really like. Again, you shouldn't give them too many because they're high in, I think, oxalates, um, which can cause problems for reptiles in um, metabolizing uh, certain vitamins. Teresa, you're far less animated than you are. Usually, if I put her down on the floor in the living room, she will run off. Want to try a blueberry? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Second fruit choice. I mean, maybe I gave it to her a little bit. Maybe I'm biased here. I'd rather have a raspberry and blueberry pancake. I've never given up. Mango or melon before. I only found out today you can give it to them, so I'll give her a little bit of this. Hmm? Give it a little lick. Oh. <laughs> oh. She tends to associate red things with raspberries. Oh, look at that, Dorito. It's the first time she's ever had melon. It's in front of her. Their vision is based on movement, as the famous quote goes in Jurassic Park. All the raspberries are gone. She loves a raspberry. Um, and one blueberry. So, and then I think we had, she wasn't particularly interested in the mango, but she did eat a little bit of melon as well. Thank you, Chef Dorito, for choosing these ingredients for us. Can I get a handshake? Thank you. Honestly, she seems like she needs a big, big, big old poop, which she loves doing. So, Dorito, thank you for your help. We're gonna pop you back in your tank now, and uh, I will get on to making the pancake you recommended using Dorito's famous, largely uneaten recipe decider. Oh, there he goes. He's free. <laughs> He'll always be my special something. <laughs> There's so many more people out here than I thought there would be. Randy. Randy. Hello. I'm a little lizard standing on a rock. Standing on a rock because the sand is too hot The sand is too hot, so I'm standing on a rock I'm a little lizard down, I'm standing on a rock I'm a little lizard down, I'm standing on a rock Now you have to understand if you're walking on the sand That it's not a good plan to go walking on the sand You're walking on the sand and the sand gets hot You're much better off Standing on a rock I'm a little lizard Standing on a rock Standing on a rock Because the sand is too hot The sand is too hot So I'm standing on a rock I'm a little lizard And I'm standing on a rock I'm a little lizard And I'm standing on a rock Now if your rock is getting hot, you know you better jump up Yes, you better jump up if your rock is getting hot If you don't jump up, you better find another rock You better find another rock, a rock that's not too hot I'm a little lizard, standing on a rock Standing on a rock because the sand is too hot The sand is too hot, so I'm standing on a rock I'm a little lizard and I'm standing on a rock I'm a little lizard and I'm standing on a rock Standing on a rock Standing on a rock, I'm a little lizard and I'm standing on a rock. Now if you spot another rock, you think it's not too hot. You won't know if it's hot until you hop on top. And if you hop on top of the rock that's not hot, you may find the rock you spotted is the hottest of the lot. I'm a little lizard, standing on a rock, standing on a rock because the sand is too hot.